Hola, mis amigos, San Pasqua, amigas, my name is Taffrey16, welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my second reaction to Peter K's Car Share. So we started this in November with the intention of it being monthly, it will be monthly going forward. Uh, I was hoping I could get this on YouTube, but unfortunately the copyright has changed a little bit, so I won't be able to. Which is a shame, because I'm sure this would have done really fucking well on YouTube, but nothing I can do about that. Um, so, uh, I forgot my other words. Oh yeah, so, I really like the first episode of this. It takes a really well-written show to be entertaining, despite the fact that it's half an hour and it's all in one setting. But, I mean, that's what this is, and I really enjoyed the first episode, and I, again, I've heard an incredible amount of things about this show. So, I'm excited to see how it progresses. So let's watch episode two. Alrighty. Oh, I know what the song is. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. I haven't heard this before. Oh, Tom. They might be giants. They might be giants. I just thought this was the Muppets. Seriously. Thick as pig shit. John. The canary in the fireglass bitch. Who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Not to put too fine upon on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. While you're at it. Switch. Who watches so? You come to pass a bit now. In your soul. Not to put too fine upon on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Now and forever. Right, time now for who's in the toaster? <laughs> Our legendary breakfast quiz. We put a famous celebrity in the toaster. You have to guess who it is. In a toaster? Did you pick him up last night? Oh, what a fiasco that was. The plane was delayed for two hours, and after all that, was the wrong terminal. Oh. Didn't get back to Earth till 11 o'clock, and then I had to go back out to co op late shop because I'd not got her any bits in. Bits? You know, bread and milk and stuff. Mm. Anyway, it looks well I spend all my day in the supermarket and then I'm caught up late shop at midnight buying bloody bits. Why didn't you just pick them up in work? Because I've not got the time. I'd go and pick her up from the airport, didn't I? Well, why didn't your Paul just go and get her? Because I saw if we were getting a badge from Beavers or something. Oh, I used to love Beavers. Anyway, how was your makeup party? Virgin B. It's next Monday I got my weeks wrong. Oh. I just went dogging instead. Come again? Hey. Dogging? What? Virgin V, it's next Monday. Bug of the Virgin V, you went doggy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, we can be neighbour. There was nothing on telly, so we just went up the backfield. Dogging? Yeah. Dogging, oh. Dogging? Yeah, dogging. Well, well, you've opened my eyes. <laughs> what do you mean? You went dogging? Yes! And who's this Ken fella? Ken, my next door neighbour. <laughs> oh, he's in his 80s now, but he's very active. Sounds like it. <laughs> Beautiful blue eyes. I think that's a glaucoma. I have to link him through the woods. That you do. <laughs> Dirty old bastard. What? What's your problem? Out. It is a shame for him though. He usually takes Maggie, but she's on her last legs. Who's Maggie? It's Cocker. A Cocker? A Spaniel. <laughs> a dog? Well, what else? So dog is with a dog? Are you slow, John? <laughs> of course dogging's with a dog. What else would dogging be? She didn't have sex outdoors with people watching. Are you asking what? Why are, you, why are you asking me that? Sick. You are sick, John. Why? Sick. You said you went dogging outdoors. What am I supposed to think? In the park with my dog. Dogging with my dog, Misty. So you go dog walking, you don't go dogging. Well, it's the same thing. No, it's not. not the same thing. No. The hell is the same thing. They're a million miles apart. <laughs> We've been living on the moon. Dog walkers are doggers. I've even got a car sticker that says Doggins for Life, not just for Christmas. <laughs> People are always beeping. Bet they are. Yeah, I bet. Bet, bet they are. Dogging is people outside, usually in a car and having sex with other people watching. Ugh. Where's the dog? What dog? Where's the dog in your dogging? I don't know. I don't think there is a dog. Well, why is it called dogging? I don't know, but I'm they're telling doing it in you, the dogging ass. is not walking with dogs. You're winding me up. Ask anybody. Do you know what? I bloody well will. I'm telling you. It's nice of the morning off, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. God bless old Ted. Holy shit. I can't believe he's gone. I know. Madness, isn't it? It's so sad. 
Won't feel the same without seeing him in his high-vis jacket, steering his trolleys around the car park. You know, we'd been collecting trolleys at our store since 1982. Well, that's dedication. We didn't own until 1990. Really? Diane often on food's got a fax wrong. Nothing new there, then. Oof. It's from Nigeria, you know. Oh, was he? Yeah, straight up, youngest of 12. Oh. Came over here at sixes, apparently. You were a champion trampolinist. Is he? Trampolinist, tramp trampoline, what do they call it? Tramp Trampolina? Trampolina? I think, that, I think that's if you're a woman. <laughs> yeah, he bounced for hours. World class. Remember he had that fundraiser in car park, the heroes? I don't remember that. You do. What is all to shame? He was fit for his age. Ah, he was, yeah. I'll give your neighbour Ken a run for his money. Bloody dogging indeed. Oh, you're wrong. I'm telling you. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm so right. <laughs> See, Ted was too energetic for his own good. That was his problem. Still can't believe he tried to snake 26 trolleys. Everyone knows the maximum's 20. Well, you said that. I've always said that. Yeah. Pushed his luck. Mind of their own when there's that many. Poor old Ted. Poor dude. It's bloody tragedy. Awful. Still got my shovel. Just forget it. Well. Yeah. Really good snow shovel, huh? What are you saying that if we get snowed in? They killed oh, him off after one episode? I wonder what the etiquette is asking for a widow for a snow shovel back. You are joking me. Don't do it. I'm just saying. I wonder what song they'll have. When? Old Ted at the crematorium as his send off. Why'd he get killed off after one episode? Jump around. <laughs> Jump around. <laughs> so he just like, nah, I'm, I'm not interested. What's that? Well, that's <laughs> complaining. <laughs> oh. What are you going to have at your funeral? Bit of a morbid question. What? Uh, thinking. This. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tell me you've not thought about this. I've had balls. Why am I thinking about that? I'm 39. And? He could come at any time, John. Who? Who could come? The Grim Reaper. Oh, well, bollocks to him. Enemy will be dead by then, so it won't matter what they play. Of course it matters. True. You want a good send-off, don't you? Nah, who cares? I'm nah. dead. Oh. Right, Mellow. Some by Kenny G or <laughs> Enya. Oh, Enya. Oh, I love a bit of Enya. Oh. Hot bath, some candles. We had a girl at our school called Sarah Way. Bit of Enya. Used to sing Enya to her. Sarah Way, Sarah Way, Sarah Way. Oh, sail away, Sarah Way. She's a death sergeant now in the police. I love that Sarah Way song. Or a no-co floor, that, 88. Mm -hmm. oh. First number one, that. Only number one. Too jolly for a funeral, that. You need someone much slower. It's your funeral. True. Got me thinking now. Mm. I know what I'd have. What would you have? Well, for my entrance song, oh my God. I'm going to have the instrumental version to My Heart Will Go On of the Titanic soundtrack. <laughs> Proper weepy. It's really good to slow walk into. Get the whole audience wailing. Congregation. Yep. They'll all, bit be of respect. They'll all be crying their eyes out at this. Proper emotional. Fancy having a few poems in there somewhere. I have always fancied someone reading out the words to West Club 7 Reach. Reach for the stars? That's a bit chipper for a funeral, isn't it? Well, well they won't be singing it, just be reading the words out. Mm. When the world leaves you feeling blue, you can count on me, I will be there for you. Her ass is planned for the whole funeral. Well, I'll be speaking to everyone from heaven. Bruh. When it seems <laughs> all your hopes and dreams are a million miles away, I will reassure you. What are you on about? Reach for the stars, climb every mountain higher. Reach for the stars, follow your heart's <laughs> desire. Reach for the stars. He's about to kick you out the car. And when that rainbow's shining over you, that's when all your dreams will come true. And I'm the rainbow. So whenever anyone sees a rainbow, they'll be thinking of me. Watch out! That will 
I'm feeling emotional. That is hardcore, Kayla. You've really giving this some thoughts, haven't you? Ah, you've got to. I've also asked my Auntie Annie to play White Flag on the clarinet. Dido? Of course. Then for the finale. There's more. How oh, yes. you planned your whole funeral? They're going to play my favourite song. Take that. Never forget. Oh my god. <laughs> See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? <laughs> so it's just going to play as the curtains shut. Take it, you're being cremated. Oh yeah. I don't want to wake up dead. Scratching on the lid. Bruh. So take that's coming on. Curtains are shut. All the trumpets at the beginning, dead dramatic. It's coming to the chorus and everyone's going to be like nodding and they'll all be crying but it'll be like a happy smiley cry. Cry? You know what I mean? They should I, be able to show it. I would even object if a few people started doing the Her whole funeral. Forever. Forget You're actually when... looking forward to your funeral. Well it should be a celebration. Well they all are all going to have a conga. No, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> martial arts films, we were after Pat Moriarty, the actor who played Mr Miyagi of course in the Correct My well, dad wanted three steps to heaven and he coughed. I haven't heard this song in a while either. He brought his coffin into church. Your dad's dead? Yeah. Well, what you talk about him all the time? When did he die? Just before Christmas. Sorry, I never knew. I off work for a month. You sound my sympathy card. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, I must have been an awful time. So. It'd been ill for ages. Why do people always say it's all right when it isn't all right? Copy men or You've been ill for ages, but it was still shit when it happened. What was he ill with? Everything. Mm. You know what I hated? Organising stuff. Responsibility. And... I organised my grandma's funeral through work when she died. I can't believe they did funerals. They do everything now. Yeah, Kath Hilton sorted it all out for us. My mum got the reward points. She got herself a new sun lounger. Bro. <laughs> Over a cloud. Sorry, go on. You're talking about your dad. Sorry. Huh? The world just doesn't stop turning because somebody dies, love. I know you might want it to, but it doesn't. Oh, bloody, bloody dogging. Wrong. <laughs> Not wrong. Go on, tell me about your dad's song. Yeah, he, he said he wanted three steps to heaven, Eddie Cocker, when we carried him into the church. So I gave it to him on a CD, double CD. I actually just bought it him for Christmas, it's of the 60s. I labelled it up for him to play, and as we came marching through the door, they played Dizzy. Rascal? Oh, no, Dizzy, Tommy Rowe. Oh, I don't know it. You do. Dizzy, my head is spinning. Like a whirlpool. Put the wrong disc on. <laughs> track nine, disc two. Assholes. So what did you do? We all had shuffled back out with coughing. Moment was ruined. It's awful. I know. Couldn't have picked an happier song. 0.9 magnitude quake hit just after 4 a.m. Its epicenter is believed to be around the Carlisle area. 0.9. It was reported it's across weak. Cumbria, Lancashire, and even as far away as South Cheshire. Forever FM News. This is all a bit more chintzy. I'm in a funeral service in a supermarket. Well, I think it's nice. It's a bit weird. He'd have loved all this. She'll be in work. Oh, I wish we'd gone the crematorium now. Can't have too much to do. They've got me working on a new trolley safety policy now. After what happened last week. Oh, I've got a pound to split them trolleys. Golden Hour with hits and headlines from a chosen year. This morning, it's the year Tom Hanks backed his second Oscar for Forrest Gump and Scottish band Stiltskin were riding high at the top of the charts with this rock classic, but what was the year? 1994. Well, that's clever. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? So who's going to be collecting trolleys now, then? Barbara Basque sell this lad. He's on from uni for the summer. <sighs> Well, whoever he is, he'll never replace old Ted. The Forever FM Golden Hour. My lord. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> then again. He shot up, honey. Doesn't he just? 
Alright, come on, work. Okay. Come on. <laughs> what is that? It's like a backrest? Are you looking for? No one. Not bleach heavy, is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. I'll get rid of this then. Oof. Bloody bleach, you must think I'm daft. But that's who you were looking for. What? Him. Ted's replacement. Oh my god, the music. That's outrageous. Where's his tie? It's what is that walk? <laughs> oh, I bet he'd like an older woman. What are they called? Google. Oh. I don't know what you're tapping on about, Jim. I bet you don't. I am a cougar. <laughs> It is Forever FM with a big drive home. Did you see they had to remove all the flowers from the scene of Ted's accident in the car park? Yeah. People kept taking them to the checkout. Oh, it's 12 miles. miles. I know. What idiot picks up a wreath that clearly spells the name Ted and thinks it's on sale? Well, <laughs> you say that, but Joyce uh, Chung on checkouts rang through for a price check. You're joking. Nobody could find the price, so they put it through as Cress. Cress? Nuts. A Bamba oh. sausage is a sausage the whole family can enjoy. Made with all our own natural ingredients. So you know exactly what you're getting. Give your mouth a treat. Try some of Ken's meat. Ken Bamba. <laughs> That's just out and out palm. The home of the Old English sausage. Don't, Always don't, don't try and kids forever. me. This is the station with the timeless hits. Timeless hits. Forever FM. Don't be discouraged, don't worry. Oh my god. Quiet for a change. Oi! Hmm? So you're quiet for a change. Just thinking. About dogging? About what? About old Ted. Uh huh. Not new Ted. No. Old Ted. I'm thinking about it all day. Do you think he was happy? Happy in what way? Well, with his life at the end. You mean right at the end? When the trolleys went. No, I mean with his life. <laughs> Who knows? Seemed happy at everything, you know. Good job, lovely wife. Nice snow shovel. John. Bro. You know, used it twice. You still had its tag on. <laughs> anyway, we'll never know, will we? He seemed happy, but who knows what goes through people's minds. Exactly. He was happy that day when he was bouncing on that trampoline for help the hero. Yeah, but you said he had everything you need to be happy. Yeah, and your point is what? Well, are you happy? Are you happy? You're acting weird. I mean, I love my job, but do you ever just fancy chucking it all in and going backpacking? Are you on glue? I'm being serious. I don't need this on a Tuesday. John. What? Do you not? Do I not what? 
fancy just getting away from it all? No. Why, are you offering? No. <laughs> I'm asking you because you said Ted had everything he needed to be happy. A good job, a lovely wife. I haven't got anybody. I've got an amazing family, I've got great friends. I go out and have a laugh and that, but all I've ever wanted is just to meet the man of my dreams and have babies. Yeah, but that's why you're trying to find someone, given this online dating a world. That's a good thing, yeah? But when? If it's meant to be, it'll be. What there about you, you? You can't be happy on your own. Jesus. Well, I weren't until you pointed it out. <laughs> I've always been happy on my own. But you must get lonely. Never. Honestly. Not everybody needs somebody to be with, you know. I do. Forever Happiness for me is about enjoying the odd good time rather than expecting one constant party in life. Accept your limitations. You can't go wrong, that's my advice. That can't be right. Works for me. But you must want a bit of love in your life. How did he die? So that teaser Look, women come and women go. And when the rain washes you clean, you'll know. Kind of. I love the cores. You never hear from now, do you? The cores? Wash your mouth out. That's Fleetwood Mac. Well, it dreams the cores, that. They covered it. Badly, I might add. That was Fleetwood Mac originally. Mm, I'd rather Jack. I bet you would. Rumours? You never heard rumours? What? What? Rumours? One of the best albums in all wide world. I've never even heard of it. Excuse wow. me? You've never heard of rumours? Oh, you'll love it. I'll, I'll burn your copy tonight. Oh, one of my all time favourite albums. Mine's now 48. No 48? They're all on it. All my faves. S Club 7, Steps, Samantha Mumba, Shaggy. It wasn't me. No, no, I'm sorry. You can't have a now album as your favourite album. Why not? Because you can't have a compilation. I can have what I want, John. I love it. Reminds me of the summer I worked in River Island. <sighs> well. You're listening to the Big Big Drive Home with Andy. Just reading a report out today that says more UK children have pets than ever before, with apparently one in three households providing a home to either a dog or a cat. Oh, you ever have any pets Gloria. Fish. Yeah, fish. You should win them at summer first. They don't allow like oh, that. Oh, I name. don't. I know that's wrong though, because they're always half Pounce dead. Bounce a ping pong ball into a jar and win a goldfish. My granddad cooked our fish. We went to Patheli and he left it on thermostat and boiled the frigger. Did you have any other pets? Um, and a dog. What happened to it? Uh, some of the dogs attacked it. It were awful. Oof. One of the dogs in. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I looked down and then I only had half a dick. That's like a sex attack. <laughs> Awful. And then it looked dick up. Off? Me and Paul and then just died. So I rang my mate Dave up, he come up, and then we put it in a Walker's Chris box and took it to Pet Cemetery. 8 50 it were. Or <laughs> 2 for 15 quid. A lovely dog. Did you find out who the owners were of the other dogs? No, bastards. But it would pump anything with a pulse. It would walk silhouetted across the room like that. <laughs> it's like quantum leap. <laughs> it's hands like that. It's pause. I'm driving a car. <laughs> it's pause. Pause up. Why? Why? And it was fruity with its lipstick out. But it still had one. <laughs> oh, my lord. Yeah, they're not right pets, but it's just the looking after them, isn't it, really? Yeah. How do you get on with Misty being at work all day? She's a house dog. She's very lazy. Ken nips round at lunchtime. What, have you got a key? Yeah. You give him a key to your house? Yeah. Why? In emergencies. He nips in at lunchtime, lets her out the back, she has a little run round. Sometimes, if he's going for a walk, he'll take her with him. You're very trusting, giving him a key. It's Ken. What's he going to do? Dance around with your knickers on his head. Uh, uh. You're bad-minded, John. That's your problem. Well, you better leave a camera set up. You'll soon find out. Uh, what yes, we will soon find out. <laughs> Never mind you've been framed. Till the Ken goes dogging. <laughs> right, pull over now. What? Just pull over here, quick. Why, right, what's up? Oh, come on, I was only having a laugh. Excuse me. 
Yeah, yeah you, excuse me, have you got a minute? You know him. Who is he? Hello. Oh, you're beautiful, aren't you? You and your daddy, you're beautiful. Oh, how old is she? She's just six months. Oh. Bloody handful, I can tell you. Oh. Um, listen, would you mind settling an argument for us? Go on. Would you describe yourself as a dogger? Oh, sorry, bud. She don't mean any offence. Don't listen to So why not? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Oh, God. So why do you ask? Are you both, um, doggers? Well, I am. He just thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. <laughs> Most natural thing in the world. Oh, yeah. I've done it for years. I met the wife. Aww. See? And where do you, uh, where do you do your dogging, mate? To be honest, best place I've found, the industrial estate, after that. Uh -huh. You to keep your wits about you. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you, uh, looking for a mate to go dogging with? Me and a wife would love the company. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> see? Told you. He doesn't understand the joys of dogging. No, he's clearly never fucked in front of a crowd, has he, Flower? Right, yeah. drive on. <laughs> drive on, John. John, drive, drive, drive. <laughs> <laughs> the streets in Ashton are still closed due to an accident. Avoid the area if you can. You're okay. You see something? Well, it's gone about. mad. Call us yeah, it's it. Yeah. It's 08081 570 treble 5. Forever FM traffic and travel with brightodaycareers.co.uk. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Dave Thompson and the team were happy when we plans for the new trolley regulations. Great. Driveway, Dave. They were particularly fond of the name I suggested. Oh, yeah, what was it? Trolley education. Not from Sean Duffy Paving and Patio. Or just plain old Ted for short. Oh got him. That's so lovely. He'd love that. Joking, paving, lawn, gate, fence, and I hit like a ton of bricks. Tonight? No, I'm back there with mum's again. You're keeping her company more since she died. No, probably we're washing the stone cladding. Mm. Oh. After I've taken her to Zumba. Oh, where's she go? Mm, church Hall, Preston Lee, near the crematorium. Oh, she wants to try Shaban. It's a new Zumba. Works every muscle group. Mm. She can come with me. It's at Michael's Primary every Tuesday, don't you, mate? How much? 3.50, but they test your cholesterol as well. Who does? Shirley's husband. Is he trained? Well, they got a pack from Flora a couple of years back. He uses that. Oh, right you want it here? Oh, it's Ken oh. from next door. You're shitting don't me. Say off, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, this is John from work. Oh, Come in, why don't you? Come in. Ken. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a grip, eh? Hey? Don't you need that? Okay, look, do you fancy going dogging again after Cory? <laughs> Are you all right? She just told me a joke, buddy. I'll, I'll tell you it later, Ken. I think we need to have a little chat, Kenneth. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll come out now, Ken. Okay. Well, I'll leave that one for you, Kelly. Shut up. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dogging her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that poor lady. Well, gotta learn somehow. Well, I wonder why they killed Ted off after one episode. I, was the actor just not down to be a recurring role, or did he just not have anything for the character? I don't know. It's a little pretty quick kill off there. I, I was actually, I was, I, I just looked it up to confirm. I was wondering during that episode if this actually was the second episode, since they killed him off that quick. I was like, wait a minute, am I? Did I get out of order here? But no, that was the right one. Well, that was better than the first one. Um, not the first episode was bad, but that one was even better. Uh, we've the dogging bit was probably the funniest thing in the show so far. Uh, the show's developed pretty well 
for two episodes. Um, and I'm excited to see how it progresses, like I said at the beginning. And we'll be doing this monthly, so we will. Uh, but that is going to do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that's uh, going to do it for my second reaction of Peter K's Car Share. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, first new videos, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me on my Daily Motion, all those things. Or actually, you're on my Daily Motion, probably. Um, so the rest of the stuff's in the description. Thank you to all of us. I'm currently recording 105 of my patrons who can support me and my channel. For those who don't know, you can be a patron on me for as little as one dollar or one pound. You get direction videos as well as the reading comments up to date early, and you get your name in the description as well. Also in the description is linked to, to the community Reddit as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch files channel. With all that being said, though, my name is Tapper's Teen. This has been my second reaction to Peter K's car share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.